Hi, in previous video we created basic structure and Discord authorization. So we'll improve authorization in future, but now let's just focus on the main application. I will add the link to the repository and every video from this playlist will be related to some commit in this repo. So what are our first steps? Um, in the beginning we usually start from planning and because we want to have global overview of the components we won't dive deep right now. We just think how it works on the top overview on the top 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 because we want to have global overview of the components in the system and uh, we'll think about actual API and props in future. For now let's just talk about basic parts. So let's start. I decided to create a diagram on Drawio. Here we have basic representation of our app. We have header which consists of logo, select fragment, add fragment and user widgets and all of these contain basic UI kit parts like select, pop-up and pop-over. So also we have typing widget and stats service. Stats service will have its modules all around the app so we'll implement it separately to have it reusable. Again we'll improve the diagram in future and now it's just an overview to help us moving forward. So this is the app and you can check how it is related to our diagram. So before we start actually creating backend and other features, we should create basic UI kit and we won't use any libraries like Material UI or Bootstrap. We'll create everything from scratch using Tailwind. So in this video in particular, we'll build logotype, uh, which is very simple and popover component for user widget, which is much more complicated. And we will try to assemble all of this in the header. So actually I recorded separate video about pop-ups and popovers. This is the link and you should watch it before moving forward. So we'll start from cleaning up our project and I will remove everything from the main page. So let me add here our main section and I will remove everything unrelated. So also I will remove authorization showcase and meta tag and description I also will remove. And I named this application solar type. You can name it whatever you want. So for now let's add some styling to our main section and uh, actually main section I will just add admin height uh, sorry screen that means that 100 VH 100% of viewport also don't forget to activate your pre-tier configuration or whatever formatter you use to have uh, formatting on fly so for now also we should have container to have all our content aligned. This container class goes from Tailwind, it's default class, and we should add also some default stylings, like we should center it on horizontal axis. We will add flex here and items center. To add, that means align items center. And uh, justify between, that means uh, justify content space between and also we'll add padding from all the sides so now uh, the next step will be creating our logo type component and for this first I will add uh, SVG so in public folder in IMG folder I will create I will call it sun.svg and this is our logo type actually this icon I don't remember exactly from where this icon goes uh, it's some from some UI kit but it doesn't matter so for now we have this uh, sun SVG in our public folder and we can create actually UI kit component which which will represent our uh, logo type so for this I created already a UI kit folder and you see here that we have bunch of folders now 
they are empty, but we'll fulfill them in this video. So now we we'll, should use UIKit logo and let's create index tsx. So in this, what we'll have uh, in a logo type here. It would be functional component of React and um, let's add some styling also. It would be usual D for now, maybe in future we'll change uh, the tag to have a more accessible behavior. But for now let's add some styling. Also we should have here of course our image. I will copy this. So this is this goes from next image and uh, one special feature of next image that we should provide width and height. It's its uh, required properties. So this is our path to SVG. That means we goes we go directly to public folder and take our Sun SVG. Also here we have a text for our logo type. And here I will add also some stylings. For example, I will copy the styles and show you how it works, explain how it works. So this is letter spacing, this is boldness, this is sorry font size, and this these are margins. And also we have uh, some styling for the logo component itself. It's, it is display flex cursor pointer that uh, means that we do we cannot select this component this is a line item center and this for letter spacing also I think we should we can remove letter spacing from from there don't need it here okay so now we have our logo component and uh, we can check it actually so let's import our logo component to the main page and let's start our development server so great we have our logo type we'll change font family later for now it doesn't matter and we see here that we have our container it works okay and our main section which is 100% 100 piash that means 100% of viewport okay we can proceed uh, with the next component and the next one will be related to user popover and user widget i already created folders and what does it mean Actually, we want to sign in then we unauthorized and we want to see user popover when we are authorized. So let's see how we can implement it. But before I have to add that uh, all the logic related to popover uh, was implemented in different video and you should um, check it for sure before starting uh, this one. So. Uh, we'll, I, I will copy all the things related to popover. So first is a click outside component, which just tell us when we click uh, on some element on uh, when we click outside of some element. Uh, so this logic related to this. Also, we have the popover component itself. Actually, it is based on React Popper library. So I will install React Popper and Popper JS Core uh, using context menu of WebStorm. Uh, and the next thing is portal because we are creating our popovers and popups in future will create all of this um, according to implementation using portals. So this is our portal component. And uh, actually this is it. And now we can proceed with our user popover. 
So inside user popover, uh, we'll create index sex and here we'll have uh, our functional component. This component will, will receive username and avatar URL. Actually, we'll use Gravatar and we will have uh, additional util function to calculate this Gravatar URL and also popover content. So this user popover just representational component for some information uh, to render, actually to render the popover when we're clicking on a user name. So let me show you uh, what we do next. So we should create states for our popover. And we should also create state for reference. This one means actually on what element we should uh, render our popover. So here we render actually part related to username and uh, gravatar and also we render here our popover from UI kit. And every time we click on username or uh, actually on this part which is username plus gravatar will open popover. So also I add here to do because I'm not sure how to use um, I'm usual IMG tech here so I will be glad if you suggest uh, what is better practice to uh, render avatar here so it's yeah it's a task for you um, this is it about user popover so we have some styling here related to um, you know um, aligning items centering items and uh, give some space um, and also we have a username provided from outside and avatar URL provided from outside. So next thing will be user widget and uh, in user widget we will gather logic related to user popover and actually um, logic with signing in and signing out. So let me show you what we have here. First, we need to calculate current session data and uh, next auth helps us with it. But also we need to calculate current username. And for this, I created special uh, util function and I created lib.ts user. And uh, here we can calculate our username and also calculate gravatar URL. So we will have unique gravatar for, unique user, for each username. So now we can use it here. And what we do next, we actually know that we know that if we have uh, some session data, if we sorry, if we do not have session data, we should do sign in. And uh, here I have a component, but we haven't implemented this component yet so uh, we want we do not want to refactor this right now and uh, extract everything into separate components so because of this i will just add a jsx right here so this is usual button with some stylings on it so this means that it will be uh, with a border radius with some background and padding and with semi bold font without underline and with transitioning so it, it helps us to have a hover animation so also we import sign in from next auth and uh, that's it uh, for rendering signing in logic but when we already authorized we want to render our user popover and to do this I actually import our user popover I import calculation avatar URL and for signing out again I have uh, already extracted component but here I will add inline component. So sign out function goes from next auth and here we have default styles for element inside popover content so it's like, it's like 
a list element. So maybe we should do it like list, but it doesn't matter for now. So we have here some text font size and margin and cursor pointer, some paddings and color for um, actually this red color is going for sign out. So next items will be without red color and some hover styles, background gray. So actually it's background color. And that's it about user widget. So let's see how it works. I will add this user widget here. Okay. And now let's check. So we see our logotype, we see our sign in. And when I do sign in, great, we have our username, we have Gravatar and we have sign out. Click sign out. Yes, it works. So great. We can see the structure here. We have our container. We have uh, our uh, user widget. So let me show you how it works pop-up. So when I click here, we see our pop-up rendered uh, actually on the bottom of body. And uh, that goes from our, our implementation with portals. So everything works okay. And uh, I hope it was helpful. So I'm, I would be very glad if you suggest some things related to how I record all of this, how I present uh, the content. And uh, yeah, thank you.